the Grandzilla. And I have a very small model kit. Look how small it is. And I think that this base is probably only about six inches long, maybe. Figures are probably only two inches tall. Um, and uh, this was a 3D printed um, uh, kit that um, was given to me, actually. Um, I bought a kit from my friend Charles Blankenship, and he uh, gave this to me as sort of a bonus. And I just painted it up recently. Uh, I think the thing that came out the best on it is the water, frankly. Um, you know, um, this kit, I think, was offered in bigger scale, too. Probably a couple different scales. Um, and I've seen pictures of it, and those had a lot more detail uh, than this has. Uh, the detail's a little weak, especially on Godzilla. Um, as far as the uh, kit itself, though, I mean, uh, it's, uh, for its size, I would say it's pretty good. You get the idea of the scene. I think if I was going to do anything different with this kit, if I were the one who produced it, and I'm sorry, I don't know the name of who came up with this particular uh, kit. Uh, I had seen it on eBay, but I don't know the name of the producer or the sculptor. And it was probably done on ZBrush, I'm guessing, and it was 3D printed. But um, the thing, I guess, if I was to do anything differently is Godzilla just looks way too small to me. Uh, he should be just a little bit taller than Kong. And I feel like the head is much too small. I mean, in the movie and in the pictures, yes, uh, Godzilla's head was a little bit smaller than Kong's, which even from the movie standpoint, I don't know if I agree with, but this is, oh, I'd say probably twice as small as it, it shows up in, uh, in pictures I've seen. Um, I actually have, let me grab it here. I have a uh, magazine that I was looking at that had this scene. It was the ultimate guide to Godzilla vs. Kong. And it has the guys on the uh, aircraft carrier. And uh, so you can kind of see what I mean. Godzilla is taller and his head is a little bit smaller but not that much smaller. So that's my only beef with the sculpt, I'd, I'd say. I'm sorry for all the shaking around. But the kit, you know, it has a nice water detail. It's got quite a bit of detail in the kit, but a lot of that stuff was hard to paint. Uh, I, did, I really had a hard time painting the the uh, lines and things, but I did my best. <laughs> and, uh, and then, you know, I, I painted the... Uh, um, it has some... Um, jets on it. I paint them silver. One of them is underneath the uh, smoke cloud there. But it's, an, it's a small kit that depicts well this scene, which is a pretty cool movie scene. And uh, you get that that idea of, uh, of the scene from the movie, which is cool, right? So anyway, I wanted to show this to you. I'm just going to put it in my collection for now. and Maybe I'll put it up for sale someday. I don't know, but I'll have it for a bit. So thanks for watching again, and until uh, next time, bye.